hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word be that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. That your children's children will eat from, as many as are far off, in the name of Jesus Christ. All doors, including the one that is not your business, provided it came under the covering of your prayer, all doors, all doors, what is your business with your neighbors rising? All doors. All doors. All doors. Financial doors. There are people who have struggled in ministry. I'm saying this prophetically. You have done everything with the integrity of heart and it looks like those doors are not opening. Help them. I decree and declare by the mantle that came with this prophetic word, in the name of Jesus, strange doors will begin to open for you. Hear me. There are businesses that lost money last year, lost opportunity last year. You are saying, God, I do not even know how to start. You don't need one or two doors. The situation you are in now, even if two doors open, it may not be enough. In the name of Jesus, let the all door anointing, the all door anointing, the all door anointing, let it rest upon you. Please do not be careless with prophetic words this year not everybody is joking and playing games there are words that come from the bowel of prayer and contact with the spirit all doors all doors using all your money to treat your health because the devil wants to kill you don't keep quiet and die as if you are not a believer this door of health you must open up this year hear me this is the year you should not listen to all that nonsense and say it has always been like that there is power to change it it has always been like that that if you do not have a key prison doors don't open except that when god comes he rewrites rules again hallelujah all doors all doors this is what God has said and we believe now watch this it means therefore that in this year 2023 God is going to be principally dealing with us across three areas one access to the keys of the kingdom he's going to be teaching us to know how to access the keys of the kingdom according to Matthew 13 and verse 11 it says it has been given unto you to know the kingdom the mysteries of heaven Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 16 to 19 Paul was praying over the church in Ephesus and he cried unto God that he said I cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayer 17 that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him reading to 19 the eyes of your understanding being enlightened it says that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and the riches of the glory of the inheritance of the saints verse 19 it says and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe to us word who believe to us word who believe according to the working of his mighty power so all through this year every koinonia service will be a feast of light revelation and mysteries coming to empower you by the spirit number two favor this year god is going to be granting us access to understand the mysteries of favor seeing then that nothing will require a man at the other side of the door to open it revelations 3 9 please revelations 3 9 
you need to understand the mysteries that control favor never let anybody downplay the place of favor 3 9 revelations behold it says um okay give us verse 8 my apologies 3 8 3 8 i know thy works he said behold i have said before thee so there are times that an open door can be set before you your assignment is to walk into it because you have received help he said haven't obtained help from the lord i continue unto this day i have set before you an open door no man because it was not a man that opened it a man cannot shut it i have said before you there are times that the door is closed he gives you keys to open but there are times he can set before you an open door by the help of god hallelujah and then of course number three this year god is going to be teaching our hands to war seeing then that there is a dimension of warfare and power give us psalm 144 and verse 1 that god is able to teach our hands to war and even our fingers to fight blessed be the lord my strength which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight this charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, he says, that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy. There are words that are coming. You must gain mastery on how to war a good warfare in the spirit. Because there are doors that will never open except by engaging the power of God. Psalm 66 and verse 3. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves unto you. Can I tell you the truth? There are certain things about your business, your life, your home, your children. It is going to take the ministry of warfare and power. Hallelujah. I prayed for a young man one time, very, you know, like a, I think a teenager or so. And this gentleman said, whenever it's time for exams, a very young boy, intelligent, even talking with him, you will know that this is a bright boy. But you see the results of that boy is not something that glorifies God at all. The failure is too bad. And the boy said, every time he sits down, um, he just goes blank during exams. And until he writes nonsense or nothing at all, he will leave that place and start remembering everything. That child does not need counseling. What that child needs is power. Are we together? For many of us, hear me. There are many doors, even spiritual doors, doors of hearing, doors of seeing that have been closed over your life. Channels of my spirit, open up. I am with the, the Father. Father. Oh, no boundaries, no limits. hearing open up you are a door see listen hear me you can be standing close to the helper of your destiny and yet not know that between you and him is a door and be wondering why you are so close and yet nothing reaches you don't forget Luke 11 I am close to you just a door difference but it's already late the door is shut I cannot give you there are many of you who have been so close to people that in a moment can change your life. Sincerely speaking, they discuss the rising of others in your presence and say, um, I will remember, I will do something about your issue. And yet you see God using them to lift others and you are there. Just because you are looking at a man does not mean there is no door. 
doors can be invisible invisible does not mean unreal invisible just means beyond the scope of your optical eyes in fact most doors are invisible hallelujah most doors are invisible I'm just seeing what looks like a coffin and I'm seeing like a dead corpse coming back to life. This is what I'm seeing. There is an anointing that is bringing resurrection to many families. That many things that have been buried down this is what I'm seeing in the spirit everything that has died that should come back to life your joy your peace your prosperity I command that it drags back to life now I command that it drags back to life now hear me please listen to me Help that lady, please. I want you to listen. We are, we are going to pray some serious prayer now. That's why I didn't take so much time to teach. Every city you see has doors. Just because you are in the city does not mean you are in there already. Please hear me. Preachers, hear me. Business people, hear me. You can be in Abuja for 10 years and in the spirit you are not yet there. That's why everything that is in that city does not answer to you. Why do you think there was a triumphant entry with Jesus? What was the significance? He said, blessed is he that comes. Was he not already there? Many of you who have been around northern states, when you are entering a northern state, there are usually like gates. They are not closed, but you'll be mistaken to say they are not closed. Those things are not just architectural constructions. No. A city can reject you and you will know it because you are around what should bless you and it will never bless you. Please hear me. The same way the Bible says we are seated with Christ in heavenly places and yet you are on earth here. And the Bible says it's a spiritual reality. Many of you physically, you are in a place of abundance. But in the realm of the spirit, you are in the wilderness somewhere. That's why it does not matter even if someone gives you 10 million. By that mystery of closed doors, something must happen for that money to vanish. You may not be careless, but what is happening? Closed doors. Closed doors. How do I know that my doors are closed? Because there is no remembrance to bless you. There are many people like that. Every time it is time to bless and live, they are always forgotten. Elohim Madonai. shared with you my story many years ago I was praying from my little room and then my ceiling disappears and then I see this object this creature looking like a dragon kind of bulgy eyes gigantic eyes the size of a man's head will be one of the eye of that creature and it had a tail that was alive having its own life independent of the creature with red fiery eyes and he was looking at me and said so you think you can bring god's people into abundance that was it hear me ladies and gentlemen 
people don't just remember you to bless you there are mysteries that you engage frowning your face and saying this person knows me and he has forgotten about me you are wasting your time you need to access by grace the keys there are many people who are in ministry under a close heaven in business under a close heaven close everything and you can be well-meaning and sincere and find out that gates don't open there are regions that have gates professions have gates anointings have gates that's why a man can pray for you but you have not done what opened the gate or the door that leads to his anointing you may even fall down and stand up the truth is nothing will work when it was time for isaac to bless his sons he needed something that opens the gates of his anointing he said go and make me venison not anyone such as my soul loves there are rules for that flow of power the year of open doors the year of open doors opportunities unhindered now hear me i decided to just give a charge and not take time to teach we have a whole year to do that because we're getting into a serious prayer session now and please do not let the devil fool you this prayer is what will activate and release these anointings hallelujah please look up every day has a door 12 noon or 12 midnight is not what opens a day no sir no just because your clock tells you 11 59 p.m then the next minute you just say good morning physically bar but in the realm of the spirit you will be surprised many people are still in next year last year last month there is no forward movement i wish what i were telling you were a lie i would not come here and play games to such an intelligent people hmm. hallelujah it is not the passage of time that introduces next days remember doors midwife seasons doors midwife realms doors midwife faces and levels in life you can be at the same level because a door that should open has not been opened hallelujah praise the name of the lord when it was time for lazarus to come forth jesus said roll the stone that door that has sealed his resurrection because if the door does not open his resurrection will be useless open it and when they rolled the stone away he said Lazarus now you come forth and then he said lose him and let him go I know you have business ideas but is the door open just because you bought a shop or a store or a mall does not mean you are in business there are doors why do you think they call certain people and even spirits gatekeepers what are they keeping before jesus started his ministry satan took him to a mountain and said listen you know better than i do look at the glories of the world that means the glories of the world were not controlled by what happened there the spirit that was in the madman in gadara was what controlled the economy of the gadarenes the moment something happened to that man the business in gadara died immediately there are people who are rising is not what they are selling there has been doors that were opened through covenants in the spirit hallelujah lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted O ye ancient doors listen to these stubborn gates and doors that the king of glory shall come in go to verse 8 he says who is this king of glory so don't think the doors will just open because you said it is a prophetic word even for jesus they ask a question who do you think you are ah but i love the answer there is no discussion there go back to verse 8 the lord strong not the lord weak if it is the lord strong then it must be the believer strong if it is the lord mighty 
then it must be the believer mighty if the lord is mighty even in battle then the believer will be in battle too our assignment in warfare i have taught you is to establish that which is finished our assignment in warfare is not to create a battle and fight with physical strength our warfare in this kingdom has to do with establishing that which is finished and in the next few minutes you are not going to be praying for someone else yet this destiny you are going to flog it out this first service Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Prophesy to your destiny. unhindered let it be so in the name of Jesus that every closed door opens hear me how do you know that a door has opened restraint is lifted how do you know that a door has opened movement is now secured the hindrance is taken away restrictions in ministry restrictions in your home restrictions in your finances restrictions even in your spirit work can i tell you the truth hear me ladies and gentlemen just because god has spoken i told you does not mean it will happen my bible is full of many things that god said that did not come to pass because those he said it to thought he was joking the Bible says there remaineth a rest for the people of God. Is that true? It says that in the day that you hear his voice, harden not your hearts like they did in the wilderness. Don't hear what God is saying and say nonsense. It may not happen. And don't make the foolish decision that the man in Samaria, who the king leans upon, said, even if the, the God will open the windows of heaven, might this thing be? For some of you in the place of prayer, God will tell you that January will not come to an end until you are laughing already. And you may not believe him because you look at your life surrounded with pain and shame and everything. Every time you are tempted to doubt, remind yourself who spoke. If it's just your neighbor or your friend who spoke, or an unserious man of God who is not serious with the matters of the spirit, then you may be afraid. But if it's the God of heaven who spoke, go and find out the things that he said that people believed 
and find out whether it did not come to pass he said by this time tomorrow we discussed this last year by this time tomorrow hallelujah we are going to engage prophecy in a few minutes we are going to pray seriously do not let the devil distract you it is in this prayer that your faith is released to be on course for the many great things as a ministry we have so many things this year by god's grace wearing the mantle of a restorer these people it's not just restoration that is happening to you there is a mantle coming on you to go and be a restorer in your family i release that grace now in the name of jesus bring them the mantle of a restorer no matter where you are under the influence of this anointing please bring them very quickly let's save time the mantle of a restorer you came to church and you did not know that destiny brought you here because there is there is an assignment that is connected to you and that fire that grace go and restore Go and restore. He said they are taken for a prey and none said restore. Please help the ushers. Their hands may be full. If there's any anyone under the anointing close to you, you don't have to wait for the ushers. Just help them so that we bring them in front very quickly. The mantle of the restorer is falling on someone. You may be a man of God. You may be a prophet. I don't know why God is starting with an impartation. But again, I release that grace. I release that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and restore. There are destinies at the mercy of your grace. Go and restore. Go and restore. Go and restore. Some of you, it may be your loved ones. Some of you, it may be the people in your company. Don't allow witchcraft to keep destroying people. Whereas God has mandated that you will rise, I decree and declare once again, may that grace locate you, the mantle of a restorer, the mantle of a restorer. You may be a man of God and you came here. God brought you here to lift you. In the name of Jesus Christ, obtain that grace. Hallelujah. Hear me. I'm sensing that the direction God is moving us tonight, there are people God is isolating. I'm hearing the word chosen. Like you have been selected among the crowd. In many some of you in your family out of 10 people I'm hearing that word chosen bring them out chosen it's like there is a mantle that is selecting people for assignments strategic prophetic assignments bring them out please chosen this is what I'm hearing in my spirit chosen chosen predestined chosen oh you have been chosen you may not look like it but there is a, a grace upon you bring them out i'm saying it again you may not look like it but you have been chosen that mantle is looking for you that mantle is looking for you male and female apostle i may not be educated you are still chosen in the name of jesus christ chosen bring them out Chosen by the Spirit of God, chosen by the Spirit of Grace, chosen. He told Jeremiah, do not say I am a child, but everywhere I shall send you to, you shall go. 
and to whoever I shall instruct you, you will say that which I've asked you to say. I'm declaring by the Spirit that mantle is still looking for people. You are chosen, you are chosen, chosen by the Spirit of God. Out of your family members, out of different people, you may not look like it, but the grace is still on you. The Bible says you are a chosen generation. It calls you a royal priesthood. It says you are a holy nation, a peculiar people, mandated to show forth the praises, is the word Dogzazo, of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Into his marvelous light. I'm seeing the number four. And I'm hearing is an impartation for the prophetic, the eyes of the seer. Four, just four people. I'm seeing that mantle is coming on you right now. The eyes, help them please, my God. The eyes of the seer. I activate that prophetic. May that mantle rest upon you. The eyes of the seer, authentic manifestation of the prophetic. I set you on fire. I ignite your sight in the spirit. The number four, the prophetic. Probably someone came here to receive that grace. You came here crying for that manifestation. You need it for your life and ministry. I declare over you, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Please don't be distracted. God is moving in the midst of his people. The prophetic, the prophetic, men and women together, men and women together. Some of you, this thing came is, is even in your lineage, your physical lineage, but you are yet to carry that mantle. I release that grace, I release that grace. It comes upon you right now. Hallelujah. I'm hearing someone with the name Favor. The Lord is saying it's time for your name to start speaking in your life. I don't know who that person is. Your name is Favor. I'm declaring who is Favor. In the name of Jesus, every shame and every reproach and everything that is not of God. I'm hearing the name favor and the Lord is saying it's time for your name to start speaking in your life. I prophesy over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please make sure that this prophecy is for you. Don't just come out carelessly. I stretch my hands right now. The anointing that releases the grace upon your name. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Let favor follow you. In the morning, favor. In the afternoon, favor. In the night, favor. I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You know be my God Now you be God Your life must change Your life must change Your mind must change Your mind must change your life must change. Your life must change. For 
the next two or three minutes i'm going to allow you with the lord jesus christ verbalize your expectation please open your mouth and cry to the lord that which you desire him to do in this miracle service please pray Someone is verbalizing his expectation. The expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short. Man of God, what do you desire the Lord to do in this season where the wave of his glory the wave of revival is sweeping from nation to nation i repeat to you again we are in the days of his power we are in the days of his power we are in the days of apostolic signs and wonders heralding the end time move of jesus across the nations Businessman, what do you desire that God does in this season where he's raising men and giving men the wealth of nations to frontier the purposes of the kingdom? One more minute, don't be silent. You're a man of God, I like you to declare. I'm tired of doing ministry without genuine power. Tired of the difficulty experience in calling many to Jesus, drawing many to Jesus. Oh, for they need to come and come in their multitudes. We are in the days of his power. My Bible says the people shall be willing. A few more seconds. Hallelujah. Listen, maybe one day when we have the opportunity and we're teaching, I will share with you a bit of my story and how I sought for and pursued some of these graces that God has so graciously made available today. In as much as God has granted me the privilege of encounters with Jesus, I can tell you that there are many graces that are upon my life today that did not just come from that one encounter or those encounters there were times in my life when i had to review my life with respect to god's expectation for me and i had to search by knowledge by mentorship and by revelation the graces that will be required for my efficiency i am still a seeker of those graces up until today and i began to intentionally meticulously search for the graces that are responsible for producing genuine ever increasing results i submit to you again that struggle will never end 
until grace comes on an individual many people you you can have a semblance of results you can jump and keep gyrating if the results are not there it is because the grace is not there it's as simple as that so i want you please hear me do not be distracted because i trust that by god's grace i will be speaking from the depth of my spirit and for god's sake i'm praying that somebody will even if it's for the first time that you will open up your heart to carry something something of substance and it doesn't matter whether you are male or female doesn't matter whether you are young or old doesn't matter whether you are sound or on sight the most important thing is your faith make up your mind that ministry will not be barren again make up your mind that you will not be around rigma rolling as if god did not call you make up your mind you're not the first to do what you're doing it is a bankruptcy of the grace needed and you may say i have an anointing is it for the level you are stepping into yesterday's anointing will not command today's results no sir hallelujah can I start with an impartation? It's going to be a very quick walk tonight. Even if we don't have time to get to take testimonies, no problem. Let me start with an impartation. Listen to me. I want to start with impartation for ministers of the gospel. Everybody will receive, but particularly, you are, you are a minister of the gospel, let your heart be open. I want to release a grace upon you. Ministers of the gospel, it's time to do this powerlessness in the church. If we do not drive it away by the introduction of genuine graces, the purposes of God and the program of God will suffer. I call upon the God of my covenant and in the name of Jesus I declare for everyone called into ministry, the mantle and the grace needed, take it now. 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 The grace needed for efficiency. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hear me. If you are a prophet here, may your eyes and your ears be opened. Supernaturally. Tabata. May a mantle come upon you, male and female. May that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. The healing anointing. I'm seeing fire coming on the hands of people. I don't know who you are, but drink of that fountain in the name of Jesus Christ. Drink of that fountain. A new wave of the healing anointing. A new wave of the healing anointing. I release it upon you. I, re I release it upon you. Take that grace now. Signs and wonders. I shift you into a ministry of signs and wonders. For ten signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. That through your hands the blind will see. Through your hands the deaf will hear. Through your hands cripples will walk. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Every dimension of the gift of the Spirit that is missing in your life but required for your destiny. I'm telling you, I'm seeing like candles. I'm seeing candles in the Spirit and fire is coming on those candles. This is what I'm seeing. It looks like Acts chapter 2 and verse 1. That Pentecost fire, let it come upon you now. That Pentecost fire, let it come upon you now. Pentecost fire with proof in your spiritual life. I'm still praying for everyone, but particularly ministers of the gospel. The spirit of revelation, superior illumination into scripture. I tell you, men and women will teach scripture like never before. The word of God will open up to you. You will communicate doctrine and the mysteries of scripture with precision and exactitude. Receive that grace right now. 
receive that grace, the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus Christ. Every altar that has been barren of power from any man or woman of God here in the name of Jesus return back to your various stations with fire return back to your various stations with fire in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the name of the Lord Let's do the finance one now. Father, it is your desire for your people to prosper. Even in this season. And many of them have come from situations right now where except you help and show mercy. Certain financial doors may not seem to be opened. But in the name of Jesus, you have orchestrated this service for the mysterious lifting of men. Therefore, the grace component required for your financial exploits, receive it now. Hmm. Hmm. Receive it now. Receive it now. Hear me. There are many of you, by reason of this impartation, a strange order of wisdom is resting on your mind. Superior strategies, superior ideas, in the name of Jesus Christ. And every spirit of lack and poverty that has followed any family here, I don't care for how long it has been, I arrest it now in the name of Jesus. I arrest it now in the name of Jesus. I arrest it now in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please be silent. I want you to bring all the people who will be under the anointing now. Just be silent. You don't say you've prayed. This is the instruction God is giving me. I want to rebuke certain strange spirits that have held on to certain destinies. And usually I will ask you to shout, but the Lord is giving me an instruction to be silent. In the name of Jesus. Father, even as you have instructed, everyone here and every family here, under the influence of wicked spirits, yokes, covenants aha in the name of jesus christ i'm telling you there's there's such fire that is moving in the name of jesus let there be deliverance for such people supernaturally please bring them out whether for individuals or families very quickly men and women everything that has tied your progress i decree and declare right now be released be released, be released. Please bring them out. My God, fire is falling in this place. Shalata kafaratos kafrande baratos yata. Shalata shana manakos. Bring them quickly. Ancestry, yokes of darkness. You may not even know that is the cause. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing someone like a chain around your waist. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken, Let it be broken now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it be broken now. Release your destinies. Release your destinies. Release your destinies. It happened to your father, it happened to your mother, it happened to your siblings. The blood is speaking against it now. The Apakosh Ketepata, the blood is speaking against it now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. There is none other. Yes, Lord, 
Yes, Lord. Please bring them out quickly. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is no other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Sing yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is no other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm seeing fire burn the feet of people and the Lord is saying he's opening graves I don't know what this means but in the name of Jesus every family here that has been tied down by witchcraft and ancestry I stretch my hands fire fire begins to burn everything that is not of God bring them out let it destroy the works of darkness. Let it destroy the works of darkness. Connected to ancestry. Connected to the spirits of the dead. Be delivered now. I'm still praying. Please be sensitive. This is a very prophetic moment. Sanakos kedila sobe shalakros kevaniata engroto so de balakusia. Every two two years, someone must die in that family. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is bringing deliverance. Someone must die. Where are those people? The power of God is coming on you now, right now. I break that chain of that pattern of that pattern of death. Break now! Break now! Break now! Break now! Anyone here appointed unto death that the devil has vowed that you must die this year I don't know where you are but in the name of Jesus I want to rebuke that influence over your life and I hope you know that as you are standing here you can stand in for your loved ones too wherever they are spirit of death I speak to you you know my voice anyone whose destiny you have hijacked release them now Release them now! Release them now! Negative and demonic dreams. Seeing yourself in the past. Past schools. Writing exams that never finish. All kinds of satanic things. Everything that connects you negatively to yesterday. Be set free right now. Please help them. Be set free right now. Be set free right now. Be set free right now. Hear me. The Lord is asking me to repeat this same thing again. You go to bed and you see yourself doing things you had done before. Levels you have left. According to scripture, believers don't go backward. We only go forward. Every spirit drawing you back. I break you from their influence now. Let me tell you this. Hear me. I hope you know I used to have those experiences myself before. You've heard my story. As a man of God though, not just a, an, an ordinary believer. I used to have those experiences where demons would come and press me and all those things. I would shout Jesus, shout Jesus, nothing will happen. That is why when you see me ministering deliverance to people, I do it with passion because I've been a victim of oppression. Again, let me speak to someone. You have prayed, you have fasted, you have tried, and yet nothing has changed. In the name of Jesus, this night, be delivered permanently. Be delivered permanently. Be delivered permanently. 
Be delivered permanently. Be delivered permanently. Be delivered permanently. Hallelujah. Don't be tired. I'm seeing in a vision. This is what I'm seeing. The hands of people tied. How can a man move like this with your hands tied? How can a man move like this and walk with your hands tied? I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus, let fire from heaven. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. You may even have a job, yet your hands are tied. I don't know whose hand is tied or whose destiny is tied. At the count of three, shout Jesus and your deliverance comes. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be delivered now. I break those chains. I break them from your hands. I break those chains. I break them from your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the vision of a door. And I'm seeing many people queuing in front of that door. And according to the vision I'm seeing, trying to force the door to open. And some are even crying. And I'm seeing people dropping like dying. Yet that door is not opened. I believe that this is a sign of advancement or retrogression that doors and i believe that this line represents families and even generations that have stood there are doors that have limited families that they say nobody can pass through this door you can go abroad you can school like this our dear woman the professor that came to give a testimony let me open that door prophetically i taught you at the beginning of this year that there are three ways doors are open number one is by the use of the right key number two is by knocking the ministry of men but number three by force and power let me use number three because when those doors open they open from their foundations i decree and declare every generational door that has closed Paracatos theater i stand and as an apostle of the lord jesus christ let that door be open now i break that door now i break that door now i break that door now Generational doors be open, be open, be open, Ephata, be open, be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be surprised to see what happens to you as a result of this miracle service. Hear me, you see. When a door is open or broken, the most important thing is that the right of way has been given. You will begin to see mysterious advancement happening to you. In the name of Jesus, for all who are in front here, I declare prophetically that God who has located you, you have come out by the anointing, the spirits that oppress you, I declare the count of three in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. They release you once and for all. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. One, two, three, go, go, go. Release them now. Out of their lives, never to return again. In the name of Jesus, the Son sets them free and we declare as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, they are free forever. They are free forever. They are free forever. In the name of Jesus. Please hear me. I told you that I have discerned that among the many things that God is doing is bringing health and healing to his people and also bringing financial stability. You see the teachings that I've been bringing. These are not just teachings that are coming carelessly because one of the things that the devil has released upon the body of Christ, please hear me, is death through sickness. Mysteriously, people just wake up and you find out that there are diseases you cannot account for. 
are we together now it is our responsibility to be able to discern what heaven is doing and to be able to communicate God God's intent for his people so this prayer for healing we may not have time for testimonies because our time is gone you can always register your testimony but I want to pray with you listen if there is any loved one you know in your life who is sick please as I'm praying connect with them so that they don't die for nothing and for those who are connecting from any hospital our teaching hospitals private hospitals now is the time it's incredible how people connect from hospitals and release their faith please connect what what we're talking now under the influence of the anointing lay your hands on your chest if you have a medical report bring it out I'm about to pray that devil must let you go must let your children go please place your hand right now I want to minister the life and the healing power of Jesus if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and then we'll pray praises to your name oh God for your name is great and greatly to be praised place your hand there i sing praises to your name oh god praises to your name oh god for your name is great and great We lift your name 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 your hand there right now and as I pray for you I shout the name of Jesus I want you to thunder a loud amen let the devil and let that sickness know I told you expectation must be expressed in words and in action hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ I command every spirit that is back of any infirmity in the name of him who died and rose again I speak as one sent from God may that spirit leave your body now that devil of infirmity leave God's people now from America to Europe to South Africa to Kenya to Zimbabwe to Ghana to Lagos to Abuja to Joss to Kano let the healing power of God begin to flow right now be healed in the name of Jesus 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 blood conditions be healed now cancer die now HIV be healed now blood conditions of any sort we declare healing right now blind eyes partial or complete blindness we command that you open now deaf ears be open now anyone here suffering 
from the issue of blood I declare be healed right now every demonic growth roaming around any part of your body there is someone fire is coming on you there's movement all over your body you literally feel things moving in your body from your head to your toe be set free right now there's someone you are having a problem with your heart in the name of Jesus be healed right now The Lord is showing me a woman in a vision. It started like having, you know how you have cold, maybe a flu or something, and then you lose your voice. But till now, your voice is not restored. This has, this has become months, you know. Most times, people just take maybe lemon, warm water or something, some, you know, and, and then eventually their voices, their, their, the sound returns. But for this woman, your, your, your voice refused to return back. So you speak as though you are whispering. It's a demonic thing. I restore your speaking now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a woman, you are laying your hands right now. You are in this place. You are laying your hands upon your daughter, your little baby. There's been a mysterious sickness. You don't even know why. She's losing appetite. She's not eating. She's not, not sucking, not doing all of that. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that little baby be healed right now. Now, whether I've mentioned your case or not, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. The Lord is showing me a plot by darkness to take someone's father and mother the same day. This is what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. A mysterious sickness just destroying both of them. Like in this, not accident. Like that, just, you know, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare we extend their life to its fullest. You will not lose any of your loved ones again. Therefore be healed. Be perfected. There's someone you have, your own is not heart palpitations. I'm not a medical doctor, I'm just sharing what the Lord is showing me. Your heart is not pumping blood properly. This is what is wrong with you. I may not know the, the medical name of that situation, but it makes you dizzy. I mean, it's, it's like the, the case that I mentioned earlier here. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. Whatever blockage is around your heart, that extends to your veins, your arteries, whatever is stopping the normal blood flow to supply oxygen to the body. In Jesus' name, we declare supernaturally, let there be healing. Let there be healing. There's someone the Lord is showing me every time is it is rainy season you have boils come out of your body like boils sores come out even you know various areas of your body that discomfort you seriously I don't know who that person is but this year we exempt you from that experience in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus now every Please hold your hands all across the building. In the next five minutes, we are going to pray in tongues. The Lord is doing something in this place tonight. I began to sense this right from the morning. Hold your hands together. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to pray. Instrumentalists, don't stop praying. We are going to pray in tongues. Listen, within these five minutes, there will be a bursting. Something will break open. As you pray, for many of us, there will be a release of very deep spiritual virtues. This is not just ordinary prayer. Trust me. Hallelujah. Break every chain. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your voice. Go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. Zembrodos kobran de galabashata bakata rakata pokoto pokoto baba 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 bandete baka parete kababa 
The Bible says, while they prayed, the Holy Ghost said unto them, Separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord, as we pray tonight, let there be impartation. Let there be openings. Openings of portals. Openings of vessels. Pray. Pray. Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Kete baka prate kete. Sete la pariada baka taya. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. Right to the back. Make sure you pray. Ka prate kata baka tate ke pokotos. Ke prate ke te baria taba la daba kata prega daba la daba. Rakata taba kata bala kata. Spiritual doors are opening. Spiritual doors are opening. I see spiritual doors opening. Spiritual doors are opening. Access, 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 access is being given to men. Access to deep spiritual things. Access, access is being given to men. Matata takata palapa, rakata pokoto pokoto ba 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 ba. Monde kene pos kopete palavas. Access in the spirit. Access in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. He told Jacob, for as a prince, you are fought with God and prevail. Shatata baka raba baba kata, rakata proto koto polodo bos, shakata kata, rakata poko to bos, manta prata kata, lekata pros koto proko tos, embrakata baba baba baba. Come on, lift your voice and pray. Tighten the chains. 
I hear physical chains. Physical chains. I hear physical chains. Physical chains are falling. Physical chains are falling. I don't see a There's an army They are rising up They are rising up Lift your hands everyone Lift your hands There are some devils that need to leave this place right now Hallelujah Listen, listen, listen God is bringing mighty deliverance for people now Every service is miracle service. Are you getting my point now? We are going to shout that name Jesus. My goodness. I am telling you major deliverances that will bring breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. The symbol. Hallelujah. At the count of three I want you to shout that name. I command every devil and every spirit. Every act of witchcraft and divination. In the name of Jesus and at the count of three they must come out of their hiding places and go never to return are you ready now one two three i cause devils now i cause spirits now i cause spirits every wicked spirit out of god's people out of every family now I break spells I break witchcraft I break the power of divination bring them out bring them out I cost that power it's not just them families they are families I set fire 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 upon altars. I set fire. I set fire upon Lift your hands again. God is visiting families. This is not about you. All the people here are representing families. Lift your hands. Oh, the fire of God must fish them out. There is no hiding for any spirit. At the count of three, you will shout that name at the top of your voice. And a sword of the spirit will go to your family. There must be deliverance tonight. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Hallelujah. The Bible says, How awe inspiring are your ways? It says, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. All the people you see here, they are representing their families. God is stepping into families. Those doors must be open. I see ancient gates in the spirit. Ancient gates. And I'm about to command them to open. Listen. When I command those gates to open, those affected, you will feel it physically. These are the gates that cause limitations over people and families. But in the name that is above all names, I come tonight under this yeah, apostolic and prophetic anointing. <laughs> I command you be open. I command you be open. Hallelujah. Any family, lift your hands that is tied down by any kind of limitation. I don't care what it is. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if that spirit has survived anywhere else. In this place, this is the mount of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command those doors open now. I command those doors open now. Doors of breakthrough be open now. Doors of breakthrough be open now. Doors of breakthrough be open now. Doors of breakthrough. Be open now by the force of the spirit. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Name Come on, shout it, shout it. Say after me in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. I, declare I declare that every force, that every force stopping the advancement of my family, of my family by, the of the by the fire of the Holy Ghost, live now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. You must be in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone like a chain around your waist. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it be broken now. Release your destinies. Release your destinies. Release your destinies.
it happened to your father it happened to your mother it happened to your siblings the blood is speaking against it now the apakosh ketepata the blood is speaking against it now yes lord yes lord you are the king there is none other yes lord yes lord please bring them out quickly yes lord yes lord you are the king there is none other yes lord Yes Lord Yes Lord Sing yes Lord yes Lord Yes Lord, yes, Lord. you are the king there is no I'm seeing fire burn the feet of people and the Lord is saying he's opening graves I don't know what this means but in the name of Jesus every family here that has been tied down by witchcraft and ancestry I stretch my hands fire fire begins to burn everything that is not of God bring them out let it destroy the works of darkness. Let it destroy the works of darkness. Connected to ancestry. Connected to the spirits of the dead. Be delivered now. I'm still praying. Please be sensitive. This is a very prophetic moment. Sanakos kedila sobe shalakros kevaniata engroto so deba lakusia. Every two two years, someone must die in that family. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is bringing deliverance. Someone must die. Where are those people? The power of God is coming on you now, right now. I break that chain of that pattern, patatos keta, that pattern of death. Break now! Break now! Break now! Break now! Anyone here appointed unto death that the devil has vowed that you must die this year I don't know where you are but in the name of Jesus I want to rebuke that influence over your life and I hope you know that as you are standing here you can stand in for your loved ones too wherever they are spirit of death I speak to you you know my voice anyone whose destiny you have hijacked release them now Release them now! Release them now! Negative and demonic dreams. Seeing yourself in the past. Past schools. Writing exams that never finish. All kinds of satanic things. Everything that connects you negatively to yesterday. Be set free right now. Please help them. Be set free right now. Be set free right now. Be set free right now. Hear me. The Lord is asking me to repeat this same thing again. You go to bed and you see yourself doing things you had done before. Levels you have left. According to scripture, believers don't go backward. We only go forward. Every spirit drawing you back. I break you from their influence now. Let me tell you this. Hear me. I hope you know I used to have those experiences myself before. You've heard my story. As a man of God though, not just a, an, an ordinary believer, I used to have those experiences. 
where demons will come and press me and all those things I will shout Jesus shout Jesus nothing will happen that is why when you see me ministering deliverance to people I do it with passion because I've been a victim of oppression again let me speak to someone you have prayed you have fasted you have tried and yet nothing has changed in the name of Jesus this night be delivered permanently 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 hallelujah don't be tired I'm seeing in a vision this is what I'm seeing the hands of people tied how can a man move like this with your hands tied how can a man move like this and walk with your hands tied I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus let fire from heaven your hand is a symbol of your productivity you may even have a job yet your hands are tied I don't know whose hand is tied or whose destiny is tied at the count of three shout Jesus and your deliverance comes one two three shout Jesus be delivered now I break those chains I break them from your hands I break those chains I break them from your hands Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the vision of a door. And I'm seeing many people queuing in front of that door. And according to the vision I'm seeing, trying to force the door to open. And some are even crying. And I'm seeing people dropping like dying. Yet that door is not opened. I believe that this is a sign of advancement or retrogression that doors and I believe that this line represents families and even generations that have stood there are doors that have limited families that they say nobody can pass through this door you can go abroad you can school like this our dear woman the professor that came to give a testimony let me open that door prophetically I taught you at the beginning of this year that there are three ways doors are open number one is by the use of the right key number two is by knocking the ministry of men but number three by force and power let me use number three because when those doors open they open from their foundations I decree and declare every generational door that has closed Parakatos theater I stand and as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ let that door be open now I break that door now I break that door now I break that door now Generational doors be open, be open, be open, Esata, be open, be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be surprised to see what happens to you as a result of this miracle service. Hear me, you see. When a door is open or broken, the most important thing is that the right of way has been given. You will begin to see mysterious advancement happening to you. In the name of Jesus, for all who are in front here, I declare prophetically that God who has located you, you have come out by the anointing, the spirits that oppress you, I declare the count of three in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. They release you once and for all. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. One, two, three, go, go, go. Release them now. Out of their lives, never to return again. In the name of Jesus, the Son sets them free and we declare as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, they are free forever. They are free forever. They are free forever. In the name of Jesus. Please hear me. 
I told you that I have discerned that among the many things that God is doing is bringing health and healing to his people and also bringing financial stability you see the teachings that I've been bringing these are not just teachings that are coming carelessly because one of the things that the devil has released upon the body of Christ please hear me is death through sickness mysteriously people just wake up and you find out that there are diseases you cannot account for are we together now it is our responsibility to be able to discern what heaven is doing and to be able to communicate God God's intent for his people so this prayer for healing we may not have time for testimonies because our time is gone you can always register your testimony but I want to pray with you listen if there is any loved one you know in your life who is sick please as I'm praying connect with them so that they don't die for nothing and for those who are connecting from any hospital our teaching hospitals private hospitals now is the time it's incredible how people connect from hospitals and release their faith please connect what what we're talking now under the influence of the anointing lay your hands on your chest if you have a medical report bring it out I'm about to pray that devil must let you go must let your children go please place your hand right now I want to minister the life and the healing power of Jesus if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and then we'll pray praises to your name oh God for your name is great and greatly to be praised place your hand there I sing praises to your name oh God praises to your name oh God for your name is great and great we lift your name 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 your hand there right now and as I pray for you I shout the name of Jesus I want you to thunder a loud amen let the devil and let that sickness know I told you expectation must be expressed in words and in action hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ I command every spirit that is back of any infirmity in the name of him who died and rose again I speak as one sent from God may that spirit leave your body now devil of infirmity leave God's people now from America to Europe to South Africa to Kenya to Zimbabwe to Ghana to Lagos to Abuja to Joss to Kano let the healing power of God begin to flow right now be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Blood conditions. Be healed now. Cancer.
cancer. Die now. It's ivy. Be healed now. Blood conditions of any sort. We declare healing right now. Blind eyes, partial or complete blindness. We command that you open now. Deaf ears, be open now. Anyone here suffering from the issue of blood, I declare be healed right now. Every demonic growth roaming around any part of your body there is someone fire is coming on you there's movement all over your body you literally feel things moving in your body from your head to your toe be set free right now there's someone you are having a problem with your heart in the name of jesus be healed right now The Lord is showing me a woman in a vision. It started like having, you know how you have cold, maybe a flu or something, and then you lose your voice. But till now, your voice is not restored. This has, this has become months, you know. Most times, people just take maybe lemon, warm water or something, some, you know, and, and then eventually their voices, their, their, the sound returns. But for this woman, your, your, your voice refused to return back. So you speak as though you are whispering. It's a demonic thing. I restore your speaking now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a woman, you are laying your hands right now. You are in this place. You are laying your hands upon your daughter, your little baby. There's been a mysterious sickness. You don't even know why. She's losing appetite. She's not eating. She's not, not sucking, not doing all of that. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that little baby be healed right now. Now, whether I've mentioned your case or not, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. The Lord is showing me a plot by darkness to take someone's father and mother the same day. This is what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. A mysterious sickness just destroying both of them. Like in this, not accident. Like that, just, you know, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare we extend their life to its fullest. You will not lose any of your loved ones again. Therefore be healed. Be perfected. There's someone you have, your own is not heart palpitations. I'm not a medical doctor, I'm just sharing what the Lord is showing me. Your heart is not pumping blood properly. This is what is wrong with you. I may not know the, the medical name of that situation, but it makes you dizzy. I mean, it's like the case that I mentioned earlier here. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. Whatever blockage is around your heart, that extends to your veins, your arteries, whatever is stopping the normal blood flow to supply oxygen to the body. In Jesus' name, we declare supernaturally, let there be healing. Let there be healing. There's someone... The Lord is showing me every time it's, it is rainy season, you have boils come out of your body, like boils, sores, come out even, you know, various areas of your body that discomfort you seriously. I don't know who that person is, but this year we exempt you from that experience. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, every. Please hold your hands all across the building. In the next five minutes, we are going to pray in tongues. The Lord is doing something in this place tonight. I began to sense this right from the morning. Hold your hands together. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to pray. Instrumentalists, don't stop praying. We are going to pray in tongues. Listen, within these five minutes, there will be a bursting. Something will break open. As you pray, for many of us, there will be a release of very deep spiritual virtues. This is not just ordinary prayer, trust me. 
Hallelujah. Break every chain. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands, lift your voice. Go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. Rakata pokoto pokoto baba baba baba. The Bible says while they prayed, the Holy Ghost said unto them, "Separate me, Paul and Barnabas." Lord, as we pray tonight, let there be impartation, let there be openings, openings of portals, openings of vessels. Pray, pray. So to get take pakata. Bam pra take te poko so prekete. Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Kete baka pra take te. Sete la pariata pakataya. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit, man. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit, man. Right to the back. Make sure you pray. Spiritual doors are opening. Spiritual doors are opening. I see spiritual doors opening. Spiritual doors are opening. Access, access, access. Access is being given to men. Access to deep spiritual things. Access. Access is being given to men. Access in the spirit. Access in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. He told Jacob, for as a prince, you have fought with God and prevailed. Shatata baka rapa baba kata rakata protokoto polodo bos shakata kata rakata pakoto bos manta prata kata lekata proskoto prokotos e prakata baba 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 come on lift your voice and pray Ma che cosa? 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 Ma che
I hear physical chains. Physical chains. I hear physical chains. Physical chains are falling. Physical chains are falling. I hear physical chains. There's an army They are rising up They are rising up Lift your hands everyone Lift your hands There are some devils that need to leave this place right now Hallelujah Listen, listen, listen God is bringing mighty deliverance for people now Every service is miracle service. Are you getting my point now? We are going to shout that name Jesus. My goodness. I am telling you major deliverances that will bring breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. The symbol. Hallelujah. At the count of three I want you to shout that name. I command every devil and every spirit, every act of witchcraft and divination in the name of Jesus and at the count of three they must come out of their hiding places and go never to return are you ready now one two three i cause devils now i cause spirits now i cause spirits every wicked spirit out of god's people out of every family now I break spells I break witchcraft I break the power of divination bring them out bring them out I cost that power it's not just them families they are families I set fire 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 upon altars. I set fire upon Lift your hands again. God is visiting families. This is not about you. All the people here are representing families. Lift your hands. Oh, the fire of God must fish them out. There is no hiding for any spirit. Shh. At the count of three, you will shout that name at the top of your voice. And a sword of the spirit will go to your family. There must be deliverance tonight. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> 
Hallelujah. The Bible says, How awe inspiring are your ways? It says, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. All the people you see here, they are representing their families. God is stepping into families. Those doors must be open. I see ancient gates in the spirit. Ancient gates. And I'm about to command them to open. Listen. When I command those gates to open, those affected, you will feel it physically. These are the gates that cause limitations over people and families. But in the name that is above all names, I come tonight under this apostolic and prophetic anointing. <laughs> I command you be open. I command you be open. Hallelujah. Any family, lift your hands that is tied down by any kind of limitation. I don't care what it is. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if that spirit has survived anywhere else. In this place, this is the mount of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command those doors open now. I command those doors open now. Doors of breakthrough be open now. Doors of breakthrough be open now. Doors of breakthrough be open now. Doors of breakthrough. Be open now by the force of the spirit. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Name Come on, shout it, shout it. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I, declare I declare that every force, that every force stopping the advancement of my family, of my family. by the fire of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Live, now. live now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. <laughs> You must be in the name of the Lord. 
Hallelujah. We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.